I grew up with the radio was the advanced technology, radio and telephones. Uh, television just started to come around when I was in college. I got into the semiconductor industry when neither the physics of the materials and devices was understood, nor was there the processing chemistry that was established. So at that time, there were no engineers with backgrounds in semiconductors because it hadn't existed as a field yet. So the industry was hiring chemists and physicists to do the basic uh, development and research that was necessary to get the industry going. My first job in the industry was working at Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory. Uh, Shockley was one of the inventors who received the Nobel Prize for the invention of the transistor. Uh, Shockley wanted to make a commercial silicon transistor. And the group of us set out to try to achieve that goal. Now, unfortunately, Shockley changed his mind partway through it and wanted to make a different device that was much less universal in its applications than the transistor. And uh, we tried to straighten that out and he turned out to be a terrible manager. So the eight of us went off to try to set up a company and return to Shockley's original goal of making a silicon transistor by uh, diffused techniques. The Fairchild Semiconductor was surprisingly successful. For example, they brought the first integrated circuits to the market, a very important development that has subsequently been awarded the Nobel Prize. For all our success at Fairchild, uh, the company was dominated by the East Coast management. And during a period of time, they fired two chief executive officers in a six month period. Now, Bob Noyce was the logical internal candidate to become chief executive, but they were clearly gonna bypass him and looking on the outside. So Bob and I decided to try it again and start Intel. Uh, we thought we saw an opportunity with semiconductor memory to make a general purpose function of large complexity, arbitrarily large. And it had potential performance advantages over the then existing memory technologies. So that was the goal we started with at Intel. I was fortunate to be there at the beginning almost. Uh, getting in on the ground floor of a new field is really a great opportunity and an exciting time to be there. I'm Gordon Moore, co-founder of Intel Corporation.